Hey guys, welcome back, it's Zig. Today's video is a remake of the New Year's Eve weekend sale on Lake Somerville. Using clips not seen in the first video. And no music so you can enjoy the boat sound. I've created a whole new video that immerses you into the sounds and feels of sailing. My name is Ziggy and I'm out tearing up the Texas coast on a Windrider 17. Jump aboard cause I'm gonna take you bastard sailing. We're out here, we're having fun. I was wading around the 50 degree water so I got a little chill, my pants a little damp. But it's 50 degrees out here in the air right now and the sun's trying to help out. But I'm already catching up with the crowd. It's gonna be a good day. Hey, buddy's getting a little <clears throat> downwind run there. Light air, really light air out here. Buddy's got a good run going. Everyone's doing it. You know, I get asked a lot about the uh, difference between the, the Hobie Tandem, Tandem Islands and the Windrider 17s. You know, the difference is I've never sailed the Tandem Island. I, I appreciate it, I like them. But like right here at January 2nd, I don't think I'd want to be sitting in this water on the Tandem Island. You're down, you're, it's a wet ride. You know, it's basically a sit up on top, sit on top kayak with vents coming right up under your butt with water coming through. Well, I it would have come off the beach easier. I spent half an hour yanking this thing off the beach. Probably 15 minutes, felt like a half hour. Pulling this thing off the beach or it was grounded or from overnight. We wouldn't have had to do that with the uh, Tandem Island. So it's lighting, light, a lot lighter. But uh, like right now, it's a nice, comfortable ride. All right, I'm gonna have to do a tack. I don't know if I got enough momentum to do a tack. But let's find out. Oh yeah, we're all right. I think. <laughs> I think we're all right. I think we're all right. Yeah, we got her. Here she comes. I didn't get my gloves in today. I'm wishing I had. It's a nice thing that it's 50 degrees out here. <laughs> As of the reservoir, it's real popular for uh, sailing. Thought about it last night. This is the smallest body of water I've ever sailed on in my life. Since buying the Windrider three, three or four years ago, four years ago. It's the first time this has been on, on the fresh water. But prior to the Windrider, I had the uh, 34 foot CNC, 33 foot CNC, 33 and a half, however you want to cut it. And uh, it was always fresh water up in the Great Lakes. That was you know, the inland seas of the Great Lakes. There was lots of room, hundreds of miles of room. <laughs> Here we go. A lot smaller than I'm used to. It's interesting. It'd be nice if we get a little more air. I'd like to get this thing up and moving. We haven't hit five miles an hour yet. Close, we haven't hit five yet. Buddy and the boat Buddy built. Things a work of art. 
so pretty, you almost hate to put it in the water. <clears throat> yep, so pretty, you almost hate to put it in the water. You want to <laughs> put it on the mantelpiece. <laughs> it's not Penny's boat. Jeremy and family doing the cruise. Plane, it's called the high flight, but that's the low flight. It's chilly out here. It's getting a little air, that's why. Yeah, we broke five. <laughs> Now we're getting it. Here we go. I hear it coming to life. And it's Jim and his granddaughters. He's famous for sailing hurricanes. Great guy. We got her going. Come on, baby.
Hey, need a cold beer? I'm having one. I'm having one. First beer of the sale. We had it going there though. I was stuck on that beach. I just had to put an anchor out and hoist and pull and that's what it was. I couldn't get for a minute I'm thinking I might not be going sailing. <laughs> Oh, you're kicking butt. You're a lot. You're a lot slipperier than all those box boats, you know. All right, it's up to 55 degrees out here. A few degrees warmer than the water. It was a good luck beer. We got wind back. Got a wind shift here. I'm going to find it. I forgot to put my wind deck on the top of the mast for this trip. So I'm kind of fishing for the wind direction here. Don't realize how much you like those little weather vanes at the top of the master. You don't have one up there. Coming up to see me, are you? I'm not directly behind you. I'll tell a close to people, but I know not to get to a picture position where if you ran aground or some shit, I'd be up your ass. We're in 16 feet of water. 16? Yeah. Which is the shallowest we've seen all day. Yeah, it's been 24 out there. And I'm not worried. I know in that boat, I win the game of chicken every time. <laughs> oh, between this one and that one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For a positive. Yeah, I stopped and put that cover on the front. Now it's heating up in that sun. It's plastic, it's not gonna hurt you. You're not gonna hurt me. I was rotating my body over to the low side. <laughs> so I gotta put my hand down here and feel it warmer up under there from the sun heating up the... Oh yeah, warmer. Yeah. Which is good, because I got in this boat wet. <laughs> Is it lunch time yet? <laughs> Beer 30, I'm over here munching on grapes, does that count? Yeah. Yeah, the bilge pump was filled with leaves. Oh no. I have a lot of big oak trees over my house where it sits. Yeah, sure. So it gets in there. That and um I had mounted down my uh, depth finder transducer right. 
with plumber's putty, which is a kayaker's trick. Well, some of that had worked loose and got up in there too. So I cooked all of that crap out and I made a, a mount down there, a solid mount for that. Got it all and then I've also put in an electric bilge pump. So I got a plan B. Because yeah, I, this thing was, it was up to the floor there several times on that trip. Yeah, if you look at the video there where I'm sitting at Army Hole, you can see the water line. Yeah, I got the, the bottom paint. The water line's like six inches above <laughs> the bottom paint. It was sitting so low. Yeah, as I took my drone, I threw it up in the bow so it stayed real dry. When I threw it up there, there was a splash. I'm like, oh, <laughs> we got a problem here. <laughs> Light air, back here with a pack. We're all pointed back towards the campground. It's gonna be three o'clock, so we got about two hours of daylight left. Point ninety-five of a mile an hour. Most of us have motors. We can fire them, drive back to the campgrounds. I know Buddy doesn't have one, and I'm not sure about the boat up in front of him. So we can always tow them if the wind doesn't come back. But we've got time and beer. All right. Two and a quarter. Might make it home by dark. I think we're starting to move. A little air. All hands on deck. Not much air, but... Yes, we'd like to order some wind for delivery. <laughs> Would you like that contact free? Speak for yourself, man. I'm, I'm doing just fine. Pretty cocky for a guy with no motor. <laughs> Head back out. <laughs> Movement, we got a little wind. Got a little puff going. We're up about three and a half. Three and a half miles an hour. We were down for, I don't know, 45 minutes there. Didn't move. And that was Lake Somerville unplugged in alternate version to the New Year's Day sale this year with the Texas 200 crowd on Somerville Lake. Raw and unplugged so you can enjoy the sounds of the water in the boat. Let me know in the comments if you, uh, if you like the uh, little less produced versions and, or do you like the, the ones with the music. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for... Uh, crewing along hit the subscribe hit that thumbs up button and uh so you don't miss the next sale because i'm gonna take you bastard sailing mm -hmm.